Okay, in this video we're going to download some topo data from the National Elevation Data Set. Uh, to do that here I'm at the NED website there and I'm just going to go to data and click on the national map and I'm going to click on the national map viewer. Alright, when that comes up I'm going to zoom into my area of interest here. I've got an area here called Horseshoe Lake that I'm interested in. And I'm going to turn on uh, some layers here to see what's available. I'm especially interested in this elevation availability. I can see that I have some um, information available in the Horseshoe Lake. So I'm just going to click on Horseshoe Lake to choose it. and it gets highlighted there. Once it does, I'm just going to hit the download button over on the left side. And again, the inf information I'm interested in is this elevation data. When I hit next there, it'll come up a list and I can see I have the option for a, a geo tiff there. And that's the file I need to import into data acquisition. So I'm going to choose that, hit next, and I'm going to go through the process of ordering that um, and getting that onto my local machine. I've done that uh, already here. I've put it on my hard drive there. I actually chose to download the metadata, but the file I'm ultimately interested in here is the TIFF file that can be read into data acquisition. So I'm going to go into inroads there. And in data acquisition, I'm going to go to surfaces. I'm going to create a new surface from external and import from raster. All right, I'm going to browse to the location on my hard drive where I put that uh, TIFF file. I'll put it in the NED GeoTIFF location. And it was a, um, a TIFF file, so I'm going to change the file type down there at the bottom right. And there it's highlighted. I'm going to click Open. When I do that, data acquisition is going to prompt me uh, to change the image projection. Currently, it's in the NAT83 format. I'm going to select a target projection system to get it down to state plane. So I'm, I'm going to go and choose um, projected, and I'm just going to pick one um, here. So just for fun, we'll choose uh, Mississippi West. And I am going to filter it. It uh, comes with 5 million points. Um, for the work I'm doing, maybe I don't need that kind of um, granularity, so I'm just going to say filter it, try and get it down to a million points there. So when I say accept, it brings the data in as a surface, and I can click on it, and I want to actually see the triangles uh, that were brought in from the data. Um, and I can just do a fit after the triangles are displayed, and there's all the um, all the triangles from the data set. I'm going to actually rotate that a little bit in 3D so we can uh, take a look at it in kind of an ISO view and then zoom in. But anyway, it's brought in my 3D topo data. I can see some elevation relief in there.